Energy and Petroleum Cabinet Secretary Opio Wandai has pledged to ensure the realization of last mile connectivity across the country. This, he said, will be accomplished through close collaboration with the Kenya Power and Lighting Company and the Rural Electrification and Renewable Energy Corporation. Okay. Speaking in Nyamchodre village, Awendo in Miguri County, where 305 households are set to benefit from last mile connections, Wandai reiterated his commitment to ensuring that all regions in the country are connected to the national grid. He pledged to work with other agencies to enhance the country's power network and reduce frequent outages. Apart from these uh, last mile connectivity programs, which we are rolling out. We have got mega projects that are geared towards uh, ensuring that we have got steady supply of electricity in this part of the country, the southern Nyanza region. And we are focused on ensuring that, this, that these projects are completed within the shortest time possible to address the issue of power shortages in this region. Rural Electrification and Renewable Energy Corporation Chief Executive Officer Dr. Rose Mkalama noted that providing rural communities with energy is key to fostering economic growth in those areas. We continue urging you to allow us to come through your villages, to come through your farms, allow us to connect electricity, because this electricity is going to bring ar around social economic development to you. It is going to benefit you and future generations to come. We are committed as an organization to ensure that we extend electricity to both the con constituencies that are within the grid and even the constituencies that are far away from the grid. And we are going to ensure that uh, within the financing and the budget that is allocated to us, we shall, uh, we, shall, uh, uh, we shall do project implementation efficiently so that we can reach every corner of this country. Meanwhile, Kenya Power and Lighting Company General Manager Kennedy Owino urged rural communities to protect government projects from vandalism, stressing that safeguarding such initiatives is essential for their long-term benefit. We have had instances of vandalism, conductor being stolen, and sometimes when this is done, people don't own the asset. This is your development, and I want to urge you that please take care of it. For Legends Edition, I'm Christine Matunda.